Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, being himself supreme personality of God, he never neglected. Three times, three times taking bath and after that he used to remember his life. He so done the neglect. So at that time, that Raramananda, like a king, so many drums were written, and so many consul sound was being on, and bathed mantra of so many high class of pandits, <coughs> learned pandits were right there, and they were reciting mantra. And he took bath and then he saw that, oh, very beautiful, very tiny is it. Like sun, a sitting sannyasi. He was charmed. And he told that, oh, yes, so just uh, wait for me, I'm coming. And he gave up his all royal dresses and he came. To Mahaprabhu and did pranam. Mahaprabhu was looking, who is he? And he was each other looking. Mahaprabhu told that, oh, you are. Are you Rajamananda? Sarvam Bhattacharya was so happy to me, very merciful to me that he told to me, perhaps are you? He told that I am your dasher, dasher, anu dasher, dasher. Servant or servant or the servant? Like this. He did not tell that, oh, I am right. Very humble. So we should be very humble to any devotees. We should try to follow all these things. How we should meet with a devotee, especially high class of devotees. So be humble. <coughs> then Mahaprabhu told that I have come to meet you. Sadhana Bhattacharya had to, and then he Raya told, if you have come mercifully, then you should be here for some days. I want to hear something from you. Then they decided that in evening, in night, he will come alone in a disguise, grihastha vesh, very simple. And they, they, they will talk, they will discuss. Mahaprabhu was the girly, waiting, though he was the Supreme Personality of Godhead, a girly, waiting for his devotee, when he will meet, when he will meet. When Raya Ramananda came, oh, the door was closed, and both began to discuss. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu asked him that, I want to know, what is sadhya and sadhya? All conditioned souls. And I want to know the proof from, evidence from Shastra, spiritual, especially from Srimad Bhagavatam. What is sadhya and sadhya? The goal and the process to attain that. The goal and the process to attain that. Prabhu kahe, padas lok, sadhya nirane, raya kahe, sodha maacharane, vishnu. But, translate. You said it was 60, but this is not 60. Oh, 57. What are you doing? Shri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. What you are doing? It came down to the... Also keep, roll down and keep it aside. Sri <laughs> Chaitanya Mahaprabhu ordered Ramana Narai to recite a verse from the revealed scriptures concerning the ultimate goal of life. Ramananda replied that if one executes the prescribed duties of his social position, he awakens his original Krishna consciousness. Mm -hmm. He told, he asked, you know, what is the aim and object, goal of our life? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
and in what process we can help. But Rajamanami, from beginning he began to tell. He never jumped at once at the top. Because he wanted to give the devotees according to their level, qualification. So in this dialogue, there are so many varieties of questions and so many varieties of answer for so many different classes of devotees. All the devotees are in not same rank. So it is like this. So he is telling that. What? Uh, with first, Rākahe Varnāsam Dharma Ācharane Vishnu Bhakti. The Supreme Personality of Godhead, Lord Vishnu, is worshipped by the proper execution of prescribed duties in the system of Varna and Ashrama. There is no other way to satisfy the Supreme Personality of Godhead. One must be situated in the institution of the four Varnas and Ashramas. So, why he told? Mahaprabhu told? Yo bhajyage kaha ar. Oh, Mahaprabhu told. At once, external. Hmm? I want to hear some more. Why he told? Here, only Vishnu has been told, but who is Vishnu? Who is everywhere? Everywhere is Vishnu. Especially the manifestation of Krishna in each heart and his evidence, witness, witness of all what you are doing. Everywhere, in each heart. And also his evidence, what you are doing. And by that he will give you Punishment or reward. He is called Paramatma or Vishnu. So we should do it like in Varnasham Dharma. What is Varnasham Dharma? Varnasham Dharma. Varna in Ashram. Four Varna. What? Ramana, Kshatriya, Vaishya. And Ashram. It was before. Now it is collapsed. Not totally, but about 99%. <laughs> and instead of this, bhakti is came. So at that time, anyone being in Gahas Pasham, obeying their father, mother, and serving. Very good. Uh, love and affection with wife and children and worshipping Vishnu. Anyone can have Vishnu Bhakti. Your Vishnu Bhakti is goal. And Badasan Dharma is like process. Very easily anyone can be here. He can do. He can do Bhakti. This is like a Bhakti. But this is not Bhakti. What is this? This is some chaya, some lens of so many grihastha having so much love and affection from their children and making money, maintaining their lives, or oh, oh, serving their father, mothers, and also so many persons, needy persons. Oh, this too can be helped by this. But really this is not. So Chaitanya Mahaprabhu told. It may be the religion of anybody, this body, but not for soul. Soul has no father, mother in this world. He has no wife and anything. So this is extra. Oh, you cannot have high class of Krishna. By this you can have some, some liberation money, nothing more. And you can be happy in this world for some time. Hmm? Then he told uh, a slok of Gita. 
यदि जदश्नाशी जज्जुहोशी ददाशी यद यद तपस्या से कौन थे और तत्कुरुष समाधार पाना हम्म यस रामानंदर राय कंटिन्यू ओ सन ऑफ कंटी ऑल दैट यू डू ऑल दैट यू ईट ऑल दैट यू ऑफर एंड गिव अवे एस वेल एस ऑल ऑस्टेरिटीज दैट यू मेक परफॉर्म शुड बी डन एस एन ऑफरिंग टू मी वेदर इट इज गुड और बेड इट इज फेवरेबल फॉर भक्ति आर नॉट for begin it is very hard so in gita krishna has instructed arjun jat karoshi jadasnaashi jajju horshi jadasta jat tapasya skamte tat krushva madar what is the meaning of madar panam make as an offering to me what is the meaning of offering giving what is the meaning of offering something that you have you are giving This is my thing. I am giving you. Please accept. Hmm? Hmm. So here, Mahaprabhu is asking and he is telling. He is telling that, oh, what you do? What you snarsi? What you eat? Eat. Juhosi. Offering. Offering. Dadasi. You donate. Hmm? Yeah. Yatapasya si. Oh, you should offer to me that I have given. Mahaprabhu told at once, "Yo, Baj rejected. Why he rejected? Can you tell? Why he rejected? This is very high class of teaching in Gita. You can see the explanation of Gita as it is. Why? Can you tell?" Hmm. More loud, loud. So I coming here to hear from you. But I want. <laughs> What you have? You are very learned person, I know. And you know so much, so much. No, you are not fallen. I know. Very good singer. Very high class of people. Why Mahaprabhu is that? Can you? 